hey guys welcome back again so in this particular video we will be going through a case study how exactly you can rank your website or a particular blog post for a particular keyword in google ranking one position i'm not going here to i'm not only going to explain you how you can do that but the best part is i will be showing how many of my keywords are ranking in the top 10 and even they have captured the featured snippet using the same approach. So if you're really excited and willing to rank your website in the Google first position using a different strategy, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and watch this video till the end because I will be covering such kind of videos in the future as well because this channel will be more inclined around Google ranking, search engine optimization, affiliate marketing, and the best way to do blogging so that you can make income within your home itself. So without wasting time, let's go to the screen and there we will talk about, we'll display first how exactly this ranking and then after we will talk about how exactly you can do the same thing so here we are on the screen first of all guys today if you are really new and looking for learning about a blogging within a seven days free training make sure you visit my site bloggingos.com enroll yourself i will be sending seven emails with seven pdf so that you can learn the same strategy which i will be talking in this particular one so guys, today we will be taking a case study of my site, which is soundproofidea.com, which is more a uh, niche around how to do a soundproofing. And what I will do is there are around 45 blog posts been published, more than 2,500 keywords are ranking somewhere in top 100 and lot many other keywords are ranking within the top 10 itself. And out of that, I just took some random data and there you can see guys, the one keyword which here search now is how to soundproof a selling from footstep. It is a long tail keyword. Ignore this search volume. No one knows exactly what is search volume, but this is a long tail keyword for that this particular site is ranking in a featured snippet. And lot many, more than 100 keyword of this particular blog post are ranking within the top 10 itself with a various different combinations. Okay, so that's the one keyword. Let's move to the second one, guys. There you can see bash earmuffs for studying and there you can see it is again been converted into feature snippet the site is soundproofidea.com there are amazon.com as well in the top 10 but still this has been converted into feature snippet and with the different combinations if you will type here as an earmuffs for studying again you should be able to see that this particular keyword for this particular keyword the site soundproof idea is ranking somewhere either in the first page itself you can see top five noise and this is something like number three position for this small keyword even you search in the google so that's great let's move to the next keyword which is how to soundproof a floor in apartment 260 search volume which actually a display within the us itself and for that again it's been converted into a feature snippet and if you will scroll down guys you will also see the same website somewhere ranking in the top 10 itself so it actually acquired two position on the same page itself one is a feature snippet and second one is actually a website which is ranking in the top 10. let's move this next keyword guys and there you can see cheap soundproofing material the search volume shows here as in 480 and there you can see the site is ranking here in top 10 pages somewhere around fifth or sixth position you can see here 14 best soundproofing material and the various combination of this more than 120 keyword of this particular post is ranking somewhere in the top 10. so these are the couple of results which i've showed you and there are a lot many others which i cannot pull everything into this particular one but now the time is to explain you how i am able to do that and for that guys the good thing is i have written one an exclusive guide on bloggingos.com there you can see how to rank website on google top one page or number one ranking in this particular blog post i have explained almost all the strategies if you will go and open this one i will provide the link of this particular post in the description itself you can see how to rank a website there i've explained lot many different ways i'm not going here in a detail but right now i will be giving you a brief overview or brief summary how exactly you can do that basically guys in order to rank a website in a google there are more than 200 parameters not everybody know or not even anybody know other than Google what are those 200 ranking signals. But there are a couple of experiments people have done. Even I have done myself lot many experiments using my site MRVS idea, soundproof idea and blogging OS, all the three sites combination on three different niches. And there I found a very exclusive learning which I really love to share on this particular channel. And that's why once again, guys, if you're really interested in learning of blogging and willing to make a passive income, I strongly advise you to subscribe this channel. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button as well as that bell icon so you will not miss any future update. 
First of all, guys, there you can see there are a couple of ways and within that I have also subcategorized. The first part is guys, you have to write SEO optimized content. So what is that? Basically, most of the time people think about SEO optimized content. That means they will use some plugins such as Yoast SEO, Rankman, try to push their keyword and they find they're trying to make every other signal as a green. That is not called an SEO optimized content. SEO optimized content, that means you are helping search engine crawler to understand your content is better than all others you have provided all such information so there are a couple of things which i mentioned here so the first part is guys obviously you have to include your keywords somewhere in the uh, what i should say uh, within the title description everywhere but the most important part in this particular category you have to think about is the search intent what exactly the user is looking for just take an example here in the screenshot itself that's what you can go in a detail when you will read this article so i'm not explaining here in a detail so once you will search for a facebook login what exactly user is looking for they are actually looking for a facebook login page not any particular blog post so instead of targeting a keyword kind of facebook login you can help people to understand how to fix facebook login page issue if they have any in that case they are definitely looking for your content okay and that will give you more and more traffic otherwise your post is ranking but nobody will clicking to that and there is no point of ranking such article and there is there will be very less chances google will even rank your article so that is known as a keyword intent so you have to focus on that intent part which i explain here if you will scroll down guys again you have to include your keyword as suggested in the guide then the guys the next important part is you have to target a very low difficulty keyword now if you are willing to tell me if you wanted me to make a video how to find out a low difficulty keyword without using any paid keyword or SEO tool using a Google auto suggestion then make sure you comment me in the comment box so I will make a video accordingly but as of now you can also follow me on Instagram and our Facebook group so I will also keep sharing such kind of information with you so always try to have your low keyword difficulty and for that you can use your SEMrush which actually will give you if you will go through this link you will get a 14 days free trial within that you can use this tool to find out low difficulty keyword we already have a detailed guide on how to use SEMrush in the i button you can use that then after guys this is actually the crisp of SEO what you have to do is when you are targeting particular keyword at the bottom in the auto suggestion whatever suggestion it actually giving you you try to sprinkle this keyword and to answer on them within the guide itself okay your post itself that will increase your chances of ranking so in this different different categories uh, focusing on the keyword intent focusing on low difficulty keyword using this uh, different suggestion within the itself and then also target your keyword at different places in the content that all in combined makes your content as a SEO optimized content now let's go to the second part guys which is actually now what happened with the SEO you are able to uprank your website in the top 10 but how long your site will survive to those top 10 pages will depends on how exactly user are engaging so just take an example guys if your site is ranking at number one position you will get almost 30 percent of overall search volume of that keyword as you will slip down to number 10 position this been reducing and if you are standing at 11 to 20 position the traffic you will be getting that will be less than two percent so you want to stay in the top 10 as well as whenever the user will click to your particular link it should actually stay there for a long time so that your other keyword will keep up ranking and even your post will maintain the position within the top 10 at the topmost level so for that guys user engagement is very important so that will first start with the title you will be using so make sure you use a power word then after guys you have to uh, split your paragraphs into at max two to three lines don't increase the width of a paragraph otherwise this is a, a general mentality of the people to they are actually looking for a pause or a break so that if you will make your paragraph 10 uh, lines or even bigger than that nobody's going to read and everybody will escape out from your website as well as guys if you are monetizing your website using the advertisement then make sure you optimize your website in a better way and for that the best suggestion is Ezoic. You can use the Ezoic. Ezoic actually optimize your ad. So even you can include some media files and in this way you have to grab the user's attention. Then after guys, the next part is all about a link building strategy. There are a couple of things I've mentioned already, but the important part is always focus on quality backlink instead of quantity backlink. Just take an example. If your site is all about health and fitness, if, a, if any recipe website or a food recipe website actually referring to your website, there is no point of getting backlink for that. You have to find out your related website and the backlinks received from that website will only matter 
matter in the Google ranking. So how, what strategy you have to use? That's what even I've explained here uh, related to backlinks. You can create some profile backlink initially and also focus on anchor text. And here the most important crisp is also, also focus on interlinking of the existing ranking page pages that will dramatically improve the website ranking that even i have explained there then after guys the next important part is if your website is in the wordpress then there are three factors you have to work upon one is this hosting second one is a theme and third one is the caching mechanism for hosting as i recommended if you are a beginner go with hosting if you are uh, uh, having a little bit more budget over hundred dollar for an year then you can go with an a2 hosting the links will be in the description obviously that will be an affiliate link if you will buy that i will get certain commission in the terms of a theme as a beginner you can start with a generate press that will give you uh, 500 websites access for just $60 investment so that will again give you an advantage and the last one is guys the caching plugin basically it helps to reduce the load on your server also create a caches uh, within the uh, browser of the user itself so the number of requests which are coming earlier to your server will now get reduces and your overall website ranking will get improved so there are different things I have provided into this article and I suggest you to go through complete guide and let me know which one you didn't understood or you want me to make a detailed video. I hope guys this video has been helpful for you. If you really want me to make a future videos like this and make sure you provide me the valuable comment. Also follow me on our social media handles so that I will keep sharing more and more update in the future as well. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Have a good day.